doing my speech on customer service. Uh, basically, uh, I mean, I work in the customer service field. I've been doing customer service probably about six years. I'm an advanced technical support technician. And I just want to talk about how good customer service is vital to the uh, success of a company and an individual. Uh, I want to start off with a tone of, tone of voice. Uh, tone of voice actually means, means a lot when it comes to customer service. Uh, it, it is important to uh, sound excited when you're talking to people, to sound uh, interesting, and it's also pretty important to match uh, your uh, customer's tone. Uh, for instance, if you're speaking with a person who who may, may be from like a different area, you you kind of want to match their tone too, so so you can kind of build a relationship with the uh, with the customer while while you're solving their their issues. Um, and working working with customers every day, like on the phone, it is it is important to uh, build like a uh, rapport with with the customer. Uh, well, first you want to find out what their issue is. Uh, you you really have to listen. I mean, listening is probably about the most important thing. You want to let them explain what 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 their issue is. And once you find out what the issue is, you, uh, you kind of got to take an action plan to uh, re re resolve their issue. Uh, right here is just a little illustration. Uh, like a lot, a lot of times the customers will call in, they're frustrated. So you got to you gotta basically uh, acknowledge that or like a statement like, uh, I know this must be frustrating. But I can assure you, I can help you with this issue today. Uh, and also, too, like at the beginning of the conversation or the call, you want to ask them, like, how, how are you doing today? How's your day going? You know, they just kind of, it, it may not seem like it, but uh, customers really, really appreciate it that to be thought of in that way. You know, that makes them, makes them feel valuable. So, and then, after you resolve the issue, uh, you, you kind of want to close it too. You want to be like, uh, did, did I resolve your issues today? Were you satisfied with my customer service? And you know, they would say yes. So, uh, so that's very important. Um, here's, here's a satisfied customer. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely want a smiley face after, after they call in. Uh, like, like I deal with a lot of customers, they're angry, either because their you know their cell phone's not working, or, or my mobile hotspot's not working, or my uh, Sprint air raid's not working. So, uh, so a lot of times you know we just have to turn a bad situation into something good, and at the end of the call, this is this is the result uh, that you, that you kind of want. Uh, Probably the most toughest thing about customer service, whether if it's on the phone customer service or if you're working like face to face, is angry customers. Uh, customers, you know, they they kind of know how to push push their buttons and stuff, you know. But it's very important to handle this. You just gotta handle that type of situation. Uh, well. First, you just gotta listen to it. You just gotta know that they're not actually talking about you. They're just mad at the service or the company. And I would say it's not as bad on the phone, maybe face to face, but it's still like the same, the same kind of rules. You just gotta just listen to them and just try to. At the end of that, you just want to try to um, re re resolve their issues. Main thing. Um, Another thing, back to the uh, confidence part, it's, 
it's important to smile. I mean, uh, it, 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 even, um, I mean, it's just that uh, even on the phone, even though if, if the, the person can't see you, they can tell, though, like, it's, it, it's a tone in your voice, you know. Like, if a person is really don't want to help you versus a person who's trying to do everything they can to help a customer with the situation. So it is uh, very important to kind of have a, you know, a little uh, happy attitude and just just be confident, sound confident, because uh, the more confident you are and the more confident you sound, uh, the, the more trust that the customer's going to put into you. So that's pretty much, uh, that's, that's what you want to aim for. And um, pr pretty much at the end of the day, after you deal with all these, after you go through all those steps, uh, I mean, you want the customers to grade you with, a, with, with a excellent customer service. Uh, like in my job, Sprint, uh, we, we have to do, after like each call, uh, uh, the customers get like a survey on us and, you know, we ask them, are you satisfied with the service? And, uh, you know, we're just hoping that they say they were satisfied with the customer service, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because it, it affects my job. And it also feels good to, to uh, <clears throat> help a customer out. It's, it just feels good to hear the positive stuff. I mean, we, I mean, most of it's negative. We hear the angry customers, but if you do your job right, uh, great tone of voice, smile, focus on resolving the issues, and sound confident at the end of the day, you will uh, resolve their issues and and have good customer service. That's it.